my name is Chef Erica and I am from Sage Dining Services and today I'm going to show you how to make a graduation surprise cake in celebration of the class of 2020. So right now I have four layers of cake two in blue and two in yellow. I dyed them to match the school colors that we're doing today. And I've cut a hole in two of these and iced them. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer this cake and in the middle, we're going to hide sprinkles. I have sprinkles, I have chocolate candies, all different things. We're gonna need about two cups of sprinkles to fill this cake. It's gonna be awesome. So the next layer, I'm just gonna cut out the middle there. And put that right on top give it a little slight push down I'm going to ice this one I'm using a lazy Susan to help me slide around the cake as I ice it so go all the way around and I don't want a super thick layer of icing because this cake is pretty tall so I'm going to make sure I get it all the way around nice thin layer now we're going to fill the inside with the sprinkles. So you got to be really careful so you don't get them everywhere. I'm using both of my hands, I'm going to fill all the way up. Check that out. I'm going to put the top on. Nobody's even going to know those sprinkles are in there. So you can leave it just like this, or you can ice it all the way around. And I'm going to ice it all the way around, so we'll be right back. So now I'm going to show you how to make some of the decorations we're going to use on top. We're going to make these adorable little caps and these nice little diplomas. Now I have fondant here, which you can find at any grocery store. Um, I'm just taking a little bit and I flattened it out. As you can see, it's not perfect, doesn't have to be. And then all you're gonna do is take one side of it and roll so it gets that paper roll look. And then I'm taking pull and peel candy and I'm gonna use that as our High, and all I'm going to do is pinch it because it's sticky enough to hold on to itself. So you can see I have some of those here. And now to make our cap. So I'm using a caramel chocolate and a chocolate square and a small candy coated chocolate. I'm going to use a little bit of melted chocolate to stick the top onto this one. See that? And then I'm going to use a little bit of chocolate to stick our little candy on top. It makes that little button on the top of the cap. And I'm going to use more of the pull and peel, stretching it out a little bit. And this is going to be our tassel. So I'm going to use a knife. I'm going to make indentations on the bottom of one piece here. So it looks like our little tassel fringe. And then I'm going to pinch the top a little bit so it looks like it's coming from underneath our candy button. And I'm going to use a little more chocolate to act as glue to hold our tassel to the top of our cap. Just like that. Our cake is iced and now it's time to decorate. So I'm going to use some of our caps and diplomas to decorate the top. And some of our sprinkles just to fill in the gaps and give it a little bit of color. And now to show you the surprise. You cut in and there you go, graduation surprise cake. <laughs> 